Hi, my name is Matthew Pierce. I'm a software engineer, and today I'm going to show you how to generate a random integer within a range. Um, we're going to be using the RAND function, which is part of C++'s standard lib. And if you go to this website right here, there's a, just a wonderful you know, set of references, you know, reference information on all, all sorts of stuff, C++, and, and it has the random number uh, generation uh, function. You know, it's got a reference and document section there too. Um, so I'm using Visual Studio 2010, and what I've done is I've written a small program to demonstrate how this works. Um, as you can see here, I got my standard headers uh, in there, um, so nothing special here. Um, I got my pre-compiled headers, so it's got the standard lib already included in there. Um, and then in my main function, I've got a floor, ceiling, and a range integer. Now the floor is going to be the smallest number for your range, the ceiling is going to be the highest number, and your range is, you know, the range of numbers that go within that range. Um, excuse me, the span is to be the kind of the span that goes within that range. And what you'll do is you'll come up uh, with a number within the range, and you'll add it to your floor, and that'll give you a random number. And I'll show you how to do that. Um, <clears throat> and I've also got this Boolean variable that uh, I just keep use that as a loop control variable that uh, I don't wait until it is false, or excuse me, when it's true, done, then that means we're done, we're gonna exit this loop. But the really, you know, the, the important stuff here is how I determine my range. So first thing I'll do is I'll ask uh, for the floor, and I'll read that into the integer uh, value of floor, and then I'll ask for your ceiling, and I'll read that into the ceiling integer, and then I'll compute what the range is by going ceiling minus floor, and then adding one, and that's because your ceiling minus floor is really going to give you um, a range that's one less than the whole span you're looking for. So if you had a range between, you wanted to have a random number between one and two inclusive, then two minus one only gives you one, and so you'd only be getting one number. So if two minus one plus one, that gives you the full uh, range that you'll need. And then here, this is kind of my control uh, of this loop comes in. If the floor is less than the ceiling, then we'll compute a random uh, integer. Otherwise, we're going to say we're done and we'll exit the loop. So the way it works, you come in here, you say your random number is the floor, which is your smallest number, plus the random number that comes from the random number generated generator modded by the range. Now, notice I'm using the rand function right here, but I seeded it right up here, with the srand, which is the seed rand uh, function. And the way I did that was I used the system time as my uh, seed integer. Now, system time returns a time type, so I typecasted it from a time type to an unsigned int, really just to get rid of the uh, compiler warning. It doesn't make any difference, but I like to compile my code without warnings. It means I've paid attention to everything there, and it's all clean. So I've got the function, or the program right here. Let's run it and see how it works. So here it is. Enter, you can enter the floor of one, range, or ceiling of two. So then it gives me a random of one. And you can see, It's, it's uh, you know, pretty random there. And this is not unusual to be getting the same number over and over in a narrow range like that. But as you can see, I'm getting random numbers within a range. Um, and when you get done, just make it the same value and you're done. So that's how you do it. My name is Matthew Pierce. Today we talked about how to make a random integer in a range in C++. Thanks for watching.